Forgive me, darling, but I must condemn you to an eternity of oblivion. After night will come day, after winter, spring. But the truth will remain unchanged. A man is a predictable, short-lived creature, and therefore a weak one. Certainly you can come up with many excuses to justify what you're about to do. Whether it's jealousy, boredom, or arrogance, whatever pushes you to take the decisive step from this very moment, you will never be free of fear. This path is the easiest one to take, but I'm all too familiar with darkness, so trust me when I say that in time it will pull you in so deep you'll have no other choice but to drown. You have made your decision, and you will pay for it. Now, only time will tell if it's already too late for you, Vincent. The question is, what happens next? This is exactly what makes men so weak. In their fleeting vanity, they always seem to fight the wrong demons. Tell me, is this all just a game to you, a source of amusement? Or have you perhaps chosen this path out of necessity? Interesting. Whatever it is you seek, I hope it was worth it, assuming you even had a purpose to begin with. Oh, darling, your thoughts are yet unfledged, but then so are you. Before we finally begin, let me ask you this. If you were given a choice between facing reality with all its hardships and being trapped in a pleasant, everlasting dream, what would you do? Well, then so it shall be. <laughs> Come on. What did she do to me? Am I dead? This doesn't exactly look like purgatory. Where the hell am I? Am I officially Indiana Jones now? I think I saw something move in there. Probably just a cat, right? I'll definitely need those. How long has he been there? Is anyone there? Um, hello? Thank goodness. I thought I would die here. Can you let me out of this bloody thing? Yeah, but it won't open without a key. Oh, that's just marvelous. This cuckoo bastard really meant it when he said he wanted to get rid of me. Can you get the key from him pretty please? 
He should be somewhere near, working on this blasted machine of his. I don't get any of it. Where am I? And what's going on? You are new here, right? I have all the answers you need. And more importantly, I know how to get out of here. But you'll have to let me out first. Uh, fine. I'll get you out. Yes, thank you. This lunatic should be somewhere around here. You'll easily recognize him. Look for a huge machine made out of junk. But be careful. He's nuts. A helicopter made out of junk. What a brilliant idea. Why do people even like cheese? Hey! Don't touch my food! Does this guy follow the three laws of robotics? Something tells me he doesn't. That guy definitely reminds me of someone. Um, do you have a moment? Who are you? I've never seen you before! Did you come from the sky? Did our goddess finally recognize my talent? I... I don't think so. I just want the key that opens that cabinet. Can you give it to me? Then don't waste my precious time! I need to finish the helicopter as soon as possible! But I can't find a rudder. If I find you a rudder, will you give me the key? I'll think about it. I really need this rudder though. I have some questions. Who's this goddess you were talking about? Are you mad? How can one not know our mighty goddess? The one who created this world. Listen up, you nitwit. I shall tell you the truth that nobody else has the guts to accept. Our madam created this world to test our resolve and choose the most worthy of us to stay by her side and roam the earth for eternity. You'll hear people calling her the witch. But that just proves their narrow-mindedness. Why are you building a helicopter? Rumor has it, our madam lives in a castle in the skies above. And that's exactly where I'm going to fly after my helicopter is finished. Once I prove myself worthy of her time, I shall become her obedient servant. Do you have any idea how noble my cause is? Oh, of course you don't. You're just an uneducated brat. Now get lost! I'll get going. Off you go. She uh, couldn't have been an actual witch, right? Maybe she dosed me with some weird stuff and this is all just a hallucination. At this point, I sure hope it- Hey, robot. Hey, robot. I'm not a robot. You are. I'm not a robot. You are. Okay. Now I get it. Okay. Now you get it. Looks like something out of a Slavic fairy tale. The hut on chicken legs, was it? I wouldn't risk going inside. That's the rudder that Weirdo needs for his helicopter. Now I need to figure out how to take it away from this 
creepy bird. Did you just call me creepy? Excuse me? What's with that look on your face? Scared much? Am I really talking to a bird right now? How rude. First of all, I am not just a bird, I am a raven. A proud and clever creature from the Corvidae family. So show some respect. It is not my true form, of course, but I lost my human image a long time ago. Okay, I uh, guess I am talking to birds now. I need this rudder that you're holding. Why do you need it? Oh, you're going to give it back to that uncultured fanatic, aren't you? I won't give it to you. Why don't you want to give the rudder to that crazy guy? He called my poetry superficial and pretentious. Can you imagine that? This is what he gets for butchering my art. You better tell him that. What do you mean, it's not your true form? I see you're new here. This world slowly changes everyone who ends up here, one way or another. It brings out your true nature. I guess I can be considered lucky, as I've seen people turning into horrible creatures or ending up disfigured for eternity. Are you sure you can't give me the rudder? Did I stutter? You're not getting it, unless... Unless... what? Unless you bring me something French, which smells funny. That's weirdly specific. An artist's desires may be rather unconventional. Fine, I'll think of something. Just a huge talking bird, nothing extra. A bad omen. Not that I'm superstitious, but still. Not my style, but it's pretty. Silk or satin? I can't tell from here. I'm still here. Hey, can you help me with something? Does it involve getting me out of captivity? Yes, actually. I need you to make some noise to distract that crazy guy so I can steal his cheese. I don't see how stealing his cheese has anything to do with my escape. But I guess I have no other choice but to trust you. Have you tried talking to him first? Do what I say, or forget about ever getting out. <laughs> Rude! Fine! Then I'll have to use my impeccable charm. Darling, you shouldn't have locked me up right next to you if you didn't like my voice. If you don't stop, I'll open the cabinet I and get risk you. I going inside. Point taken.
Maybe this cable car will get me out of this junkyard. What did the robber say to the clock? Hands up. <laughs> Who puts a station in the middle of a junkyard? Very minimalistic. I like that. Colors are overrated anyway. This needs a lever or something. And there's a lever missing. Just great. What now? Did you finally get my rudder? No, but I found it. Oh, really? Well, where is it then? A huge raven over there has your rudder. Addy? Uh, I knew that pretentious joke of a poet was going to try to interfere with my plan. What are you waiting for? Go get it! You need this rudder, so you go get it yourself. <sighs> you can't rely on anyone these days. Can you? Whatever. Eddie had it coming for him anyway. I wouldn't risk going inside. This isn't working. 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 This isn't working.
This isn't working. That turned you into a toad. Come here, you coward. I wish Beatrice had turned you into a toad. Probably doesn't work. Probably doesn't work. Hey robot. Hey robot. I'm not a robot. You are. I'm not a robot. You are. Okay. Now I get it. Okay. Now you get it. I wouldn't risk going inside. I'm still here. I'll get going. How long has he been there? Uh, this isn't working. Uh, this isn't working. Uh, this isn't working. 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 
This isn't working. This isn't working. This isn't working. This isn't... What did the robber say to the clock? Hands up. <laughs> it's not gonna work without a lever. Looks like something out of a Slavic fairy tale. The hut on chicken legs, was it? I wouldn't risk going inside. Come here, you coward! Ah, where's Beatrice? I turned you into a toad! Come here, you coward! Ah, where's Beatrice? I turned you into a toad! Is it silk or satin? I can't tell from here. Come here, you coward! Ah, where's Beatrice? I turned you into a toad! This will hold my weight, right? Should have done Kiru after all. This needs a lever or something. Does this guy follow the three laws of robotics? Something tells me he doesn't. Thank you. 
This isn't working. 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 Yes. <sighs> this isn't working. <sighs> this isn't working. This isn't working. This isn't working. This isn't working. This isn't working.
this isn't working. This isn't working. This isn't working. Free at last. Nice to see that I was saved by a handsome young man. Together we will be invincible. By the way, I'm Nikolai, but you can call me Nick. And you are? Vincent. All right, Vincent. Shall we start? Start what? Our journey to escape this place, obviously. Let's go somewhere nicer and I'll answer all your questions. I'm sure you have plenty. Sure. Lead the way. How convenient. I hope he didn't need that. How convenient. I hope he didn't need that. I'd look stupid in that, for sure. Or... I wouldn't risk going inside. Let's get out of here. Now, will you tell me what's going on? I'll try to keep it short. You did something to upset Beatrice, didn't you? Well, the thing is that she's an ancient and powerful witch. So she sent you here, to a place where she throws away stuff she doesn't need, or people she can't stand. It exists in some kind of a weird loophole or whatever, so nobody can get in or get out of here themselves. Also, time works differently here, so nobody ever dies. At least not physically, if you know what I mean. So, people don't age here? It's just your soul that gets wrinkled, not your face. That's not too bad. What happened? Ah, oh, it happens all the time. What do you think this bucket of rocks is here for? Thank you. 
The thing is, this place brings out the worst in people, and when they give in to their vices, which we all have plenty of, they begin to transform in different ways. Yeah, I already talked to a bird. Is this why you have ghost legs? Bingo! Some of us get used to the changes, but I don't fancy becoming an actual ghost at all. And the worst part is that you can't predict these things. It just happens, or doesn't. Have you ever seen a baby pigeon? Because I haven't. Isn't that weird? Maybe they're sacrificing them to some pigeon god. But then, why haven't they all died out? Questions, questions. Piece of Beatrice. Uh, I tried to steal some fancy necklace from her. Thought she was just a lonely crone with a fortune, not an actual witch. Why would you do that? I'm a thief. That's what I do. Well, well, you better not steal anything here. Don't forget what I told you about this world bringing out the worst in people. This is ridiculous. Come on, these are just sheep. How rude. Let's go, Philip. Um, you were saying something about getting out of here. Oh, right. I already told you that nobody can get in or get out of here themselves. But there is, in fact, a way to summon Beatrice and graciously ask her to let us both out. Keep talking. A long time ago, Beatrice left a spell to the first inhabitants of this world, which allowed them to summon her. But humans are greedy bastards, so everybody wanted to have it for themselves. In the end, they tore it into pieces, and each of them took one. Everyone thinks it's just a legend. But I know the spell exists. We just need to get all seven pieces. That's funny! I could have crossed this ravine without the cable car. I keep forgetting that I can fly, you know? No, I don't. All right, so what's the catch? There's no catch. You see, I'm not very well liked here for a completely unknown reason, given my charming nature. Also, my semi-ghost situation keeps getting worse. That's why I need your help. Are you in? I'm in. I knew you were the one to get me out of here. Oh, and uh, one more thing. Does this place have a name or something? Ah, sure. It's called Whateverland. Whatever what? Whateverland! Did he just... Yeah, he did. We should help him. Um, sure. Why not? His shack is right under the bridge. Ah, oh, my dear Francois, when are you going to give up trying? I'm way too scared of these things. If anyone asks, it's a pass for me. I still can't believe he jumped like it was nothing. Go down. Thanks for the tip.
Was there a parrot, or a cannery, or maybe even a goldfinch? Was he poisoning the rats, or... Someone has a nice taste in books. A rifle on the wall. Let's hope it never goes off on its own. Does that really happen? I don't know. Just thinking out loud. Oh, okay. Was he poisoning I the should rats, probably get used or... to it. Someone has a nice taste in books. Was he poisoning the rats, or... I get sad just looking at him. Hello. I just saw you jump from that bridge. So? I mean, you're alive. Oh, you're new here, right? No one can die in whatever land. Sadly. Really? I already told you nobody can die here. Were you even listening? Oh. Yeah, you did tell me that. It's just not every day that people jump off bridges right in front of me. Don't worry. You'll get used to it. I wouldn't be so sure. Actually, Nick has a point. After a couple hundred years, you get used to the craziest things. A failed suicide will seem trivial soon enough. So, are you okay? Is anyone? Wait. Don't answer. Sorry. I don't know why I said that. Sounded way better in my head. I always say stupid things like that. Anyway, it depends on what you mean by okay. Physically, I'm more than okay, which honestly sucks. And if you're asking about my mental state, I don't think I was ever okay to begin with. <sighs> Some people just aren't made for happiness, I suppose. Have you tried to stop feeling sorry for yourself and just be happy with what you have? I see. If you knew what I was talking about, you wouldn't be so ignorant. Sorry, but I'm not going to try to prove anything to you right now. I've given that up long ago. I'm sorry. I'd like to be alone if you don't mind. Um, uh, sure. Take care. Is that a dead fish with a butterfly tattoo? Yes, it is. Well, now we know where the lower back of a fish is. Vincent! That was a joke. I'm not sure I want to look at myself right now. An empty sketchbook. Someone's run out of ideas. Go right. I'd never guess. The Arabesque Bar. I hope they have alcohol-free options. Nick, there you are. I haven't seen you in weeks. Did you miss me? Hm, you wish. Who's that with you? This is Vincent. He just got here, so don't mind this whole lost puppy look. Vincent? Meet Fida, the owner of this place and the most charming lady in Whateverland. Charmed. 
I'm sure I don't look like a lost puppy, Nick. <laughs> you do, actually. But not like a sad, beaten dog. At least your face doesn't make me want to adopt you. <laughs> right, but I quite like this low-key, angry puppy look. You could say I already adopted him. No, you didn't. I'm not a dog. Yet. If you don't mind, I'll leave you to discuss your relationship alone. I have other customers. The ones that actually pay. Don't think I forgot that you owe me, Nick. But they're not your favorites, are they? <sighs> Vincent, let's get to the table, shall we? Mm-hmm. Lucky you! What are these things? Meet the Bukashes! A long time ago, they built this fancy prison for us. But we're friends now. Alright, but why are they on my table? They've chosen you. Have chosen me? You heard me. They are your team now. Judging by the look on your face, you're not a teamwork kind of guy. But don't fret. They're professionals. Professionals at what? At playing Bell and Bones, obviously. You could say that it's a game we play here, but it's not just a game. It's an essential part of any whatever lander's daily existence. Here, let me show you.
Ha 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 